Oh crap, I need some of those rounds. For the sniper rifle. Oh god, they're already here. Where are they? Oh my lord, it's a freaking drone ship. Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to Let's Play Imperial on Reforged Eden 2. I'm Seven Foot Dust Bunny, and today, in my dark little hovel, we have a few problems. Apparently, I thought these were, but apparently, of the containers, these containers are not airtight. Um, because, if we look in the device menu, they are not airtight, which is a little bit upsetting. I thought they were, so we're going to have to f fix that quickly. Um, so I guess, if you don't mind switching to the other container for a minute, could you please build me two new containers? At new containers? New containers? I mean, I could just go for those they are tempting, they would clearly be airtight. But, I'm gonna go for one of these. In fact, two of these, for now. Just because I believe they consume less things like CPU and stuff like that, we might be needing some CPU in the not too distant. Um, next up, while we're doing this, we'll talk about a couple of other things we need to get sorted out. Um, firstly, that is not airtight, okay. Yet yeah, that is airtight. That is in a frame, yet yeah, that is airtight. What kind of doolally craziness is that? Right. Um, let's go that way. Right. There we go. Wonderful. I'm sure it'll be fine. And this one, we will now swap everything across to the this industrial container. Yoink! And do exactly the same. Yeah, sorry. So, things we need to talk about. The base has undergone some expansion. As you'll see through this door where it's cold. We now have what is going to be a garden with enough space for 18 shiny grow plots. And in this hole are things I forgot. Now, some of you may say, you forgot a ventilator. I did, that's true. But what do you need if you have a ventilator? Well, if you have a ventilator, you also need oxygen tanks. And you also need a Wi-Fi. So, I think it's very important to have those things. And we're going to need to warm up. And we're not going to be able to warm up until I seal that hole. Because I left that hole to show people what I was uh, forgetting. Which at the moment has been three oxygen tanks are down there. Um, just single ones. Come on. Come on. I know you don't want to actually fit. You can do it. There we go. Yeah, there are three singular oxygen tanks down there. Along with let's chuck everything else there. And we're gonna what we're gonna do is if we go here, we're gonna auto group these. Yup, fun times, and we'll start off naming that one. Come Better. Constructor input. There we go, and that will be one cargo box. And then the other cargo box will name constructor output. There we go. Now this should be constructor input, and this should be constructor output, and the world is a happy place. Okie dokie, let's move these bits back across and this one we're now going to connect to in just a second. 
Yoink. There we go. And we're going to grab that block. And the other thing we're going to grab is in here, which we have ready to go, is a whole load of concrete blocks. Now that should, one, this room should now be airtight, which you can see by the temperature. So the temperature has come up and we are now airtight and cozy and not freezing to death. We step in here, we are not airtight and not cozy and freezing to death. So here we're going to grab one of these, chuck that down and here I'm going to put the wooden blocks down because they're going to be easy to remove. We should now be airtight, I believe. We are. Thankfully, we are now airtight and warm, and this is where our garden's going to be. I'm going to have to lift this block up, and, well, I'll do it when I lift this one up, and do a little drilling there, because that's going to upset me, the grass sticking through the floor. But here is the base, essentially. Now, other problems we have is, while I was away, there was another Xurax attack. And that was worse than the last one, uh, notably so. So I think we need to start looking at getting some ammo together and some weaponry. So we need to hopefully get a gun together for, for the base. Any gun will frickin' do at the moment. So we have some light automatic turrets. I think that's pretty much all we're going to be able to do. So let's make a couple of those. Uh, base, do we have a couple of, can we do three? And on top of that, I would like whatever rounds these things take, which is going to be, I believe, auto cannon rounds. Um, but I want to make sure. I mean, these say airtight varies. Yes, we know. Max amount. It doesn't actually give me the round type. Now, some of these may be suitable, but I think it's probably going to be these. But we're going to have to hold fire, and we are on the edge of another base attack. So, as you see, we took a bit of damage, and you'll see there's another expansion going on over here. So, this one is ready. On the outside to take to take two turrets on the top here and a third one there this one will not take turrets but this one is in progress um, this is a slightly higher base as well so truthfully it probably would have been nice to stick turrets on there but um, I plan to stick a solar panel on this one I might change my mind on that I reserve the right to change my mind if things change significantly right so ammo box uh, let's see let's have one of these and what are the options light cannon turret takes 30 mils and these take like gatling turret so I'm gonna put down two light gatling turrets and Let's do this with the drone. I'm going to put down two light gatling turrets and one cannon turret. So that's a light gatling turret done. So while that's doing, I've already got some of those rounds, I believe. Not a lot, but a couple. And that will be a start. Oh, really? What are we out? We're out. We're not out of copper. We're not out of copper at all. We're out of freaking silicon. Are you serious? Here, we have like a thousand silicon here ready to go. I do need to get more materials. I can't believe we're out of silicon already. No, nope, we're not out of silicon. We're not just out of silicon. What else are we out of? Iron? Got copper? You didn't tell me we're out of freaking plastic, aren't you? That is slightly more problematic because uh, I have very limited plastic supply um, let's have a look any chance of another turret 
motor. What do freaking motors require that we haven't got? Stupid question here. It's been a while since I've had to look at stuff that closely. Motors. What do you need? Copper. Electronics. We've got tons of copper. I'm sure this is going to be plastic, like plastic tubing is going to be the problem. Um, I'm almost certain it's going to be plastic that's the issue. Now, we have here a bunch of graphite. We will be going out to get more. It is one of the things I'm definitely going to have to get more of. So, hopefully this problem will not persist let's say right can we now please have okay no we can't let's make another 10 of those then that'll chew through some copper while I freaking sort this other issue out because I can't see what else are, what else are we missing we've got pretty much everything everything else we would need to make a turret there we go let's grab put another turret on the list there so in here we've got a truly awesome amount of biofuel i have made a second constructor and started chopping a bunch of trees down up here you see these area of trees has been completely robbed of trees and that's to make me a bunch of biofuel on this one I've added a couple of extra thrusters to carry the extra weight I was having to deal with when I was moving stuff around there we go that's that full the base is relatively well powered um, good for five hours while building so that should be fine and 500 rounds while not mega amounts of rounds, that's going to get us a long way. And if I can get at least this other turret up, that's going to be a really big stuck, big hit for us. Um, so if I can preferably build another turret again, that would be even better. I mean, I could be tempted to build one of those anti-personnel, but meh. And then I build 10 of those if I can add those to the list. So that's the plan for there. And what we do have, I can continue while we're waiting for that to sort of build. I'm going to continue fixing the base up. We will have another door. Here comes the base attack. Okay, that didn't take long. Yeah, last time the base attack was less good shall we say okay that is not gonna give me the time oh crap i need some of those rounds for the sniper rifle oh god they're already here where are they oh my lord it's a freaking drone ship oh lag 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 seriously Oh, are you kidding me? We're going to be getting freaking... Where's he gone? Is he leaving already? Is he coming back? I mean, without being rude, where are you going? Where are you going, dude? Okay. That's classing as successfully defended. I'm not quite sure what happened there. That was successfully not defended, I guess, in my book. But there you go. That was a bit anticlimactic. Um, well, we can't have it all, I guess. Yes, last time it was a heavy bomber, which was a bit more painful to deal with to be quite honest um, that is not the texture I would want there to 
be quite honest. Now, I think this is what I where I want things to be. I'm kind of only sort of working stuff out here. I did have a slight issue with there being another block placement issue here and I'm not sure why that why this one is I thought there was nothing there but um, and it hasn't fixed itself there's still a block placement issue right here I will try sort of drilling this out and trying to do something with it I don't know if that's it's because of this something color on the ground here but we seem to have a bit of a block placement issue right there and this one there and then we're gonna want some of these what I should really do this with the drone you know it's just habit I, I got into the habit of sort of just doing it oh god um, I do hate it when it does that. When I sort of accidentally lock it in where it shouldn't be and then I can't undo the placement. Because then I have to destroy the blocks, which at the moment I get nothing back for. So it's a complete bloody waste. And that one's misplaced anyway. So that's a complete waste too. Which is annoying. Alright, let's uh, grab that. One there. One there. Grab that one. I do wish this was in Space Engineers, though. The copy block tool. Copy block, fantastic. Love it. Best addition in a long time to Imperion. Just a small quality of life thing, but it, it makes building so much easier to just be able to grab a block and copy and this is no that is gonna work for us I was thinking it wasn't gonna work for us for a while there because I was thinking I'm not gonna be able to put a light up there but I am here we go and we'll stick that in that will be roof territory now here the plan is to put where is it um, one of these in the corner nice and simple yoink 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 and yoink and now if I have sized this correctly which I think I have please let me be right um, I should be able to plonk a solar panel inside this hole or now there's two options here I can plonk the solar panel directly inside the hole and it should actually be airtight he says um, the other is we're going to change that back to output and this should uh, go let's go solar panels I'm gonna make one two three four five uh, six seven if we can all right now here yeah it just hangs off the edge a little um, I'm not quite sure I'm happy with that but I think I'm gonna have to be it's fine it's fine Sev get over it right we're go this one's gonna be a cannon turret and this one is gonna be another light gatling yoink and there we go and now we have major defenses that should do for defenses now if we go back to here we should at least have one of these solar panels available now, i should if i've got this right be able to stick a full solar panel 
in this gap like that and that should actually be airtight because it says airtight yes see and I could have put it at half height but the reason I put it at the lower height although it will be depressed into the roof is that that should give me a more reasonable looking roof inside we'll see we'll see how it looks because if, oh, if it looks crap then we might not but I gotta take this block out Yoink. but this should still be airtight now that's fine I like that that's all right that's not bad that's not bad at all I can live with that and all we need to do now is add a ventilator somewhere which we can do without too much issue I suspect and a couple of lights so I don't not sure if I've got a ventilator available still no I haven't I got a couple of lights I got a door if I need it so let's uh, do that quick door yoink 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 put that door there put a couple of lights I'm very tempted to try this light this light looks new and interesting and then I could put a ventilator here in the middle is my thought I like it I like it it's nice they're nice I like these new lights. That's a nice workspace. See, my home has become more of a home right away here. So we're going to put another door there because I'm going to double door these. There won't be any air sort of in between, but they'll be kind of like air locked then. But that's fine. So base successfully defended base successfully expanded I mean what more can anyone ask for we have a home by the border which is nice um, and it echo this sort of texturing oh god this texturing sort of uh, approach throughout because this isn't supposed to be, you know, a beautiful, fantastic, plush home. This is a freaking survival base right here. Um, we do need a couple of grow lights in here. I think this is enough height for the plants, as long as the grow lights are up there. Should be fine. Of course... I also very much need the actual grow plots. Now, I don't think I can take the grow plots from the Heidelberg, which I wanted to. Um, I don't think that's going to be an option, which is which is sad because it should be an option. Um, but if they have, as people are saying, made it so that I can't take the uh, core from it then yes then that is pretty much ruined at that point so in here we'll need a bit of texturing which I'll probably do at a different time and this will end up being like major production facility eventually and this will end up probably being like a reception room with a bed and a well reception room just like a room with a bed, an armory, a locker, and this will turn into main production zone. But there we go. The base is essentially up and running. We're going to see how many of those... Oh, that was it for solar panels. Why was that it for solar panels? Plastic again, I suspect. I suspect plastic is the issue. Carbon substrate, yes. Okay, so with plastic as the issue, that does lend me to what my next plan was going to be, which is 
I mined out over here an entire silicon and iron deposit. There is more. Um, however, there's a graphite deposit over here. The medium one is in Talon territory, so that's not going to happen. I need to go and get probably some more copper as well. So I'm probably going to pick up the graphite and some copper before we go to the trading station. And then we'll just make sure we're all filled up, ready to go. Because now I think the base will be capable of defending itself um, on the most part. Let's see, the sloped panel two. Uh, okay, we need it to face. I want facing. You know why it's doing that, because I haven't pressed N. Um, I want it sort of facing east to west, which is good. That seems okay. I've got to remember which one goes well with that one. So that one is only a block high, you see. This one is two blocks high. So you end up having to sort of build next to it. Well, that's okay, that's okay. And that one is two blocks high and all the way. That one is two blocks high and not all the way. So I think you want two blocks high and all the way. Or you can go two block, or you can go one block high and then put, for example, like that on top of it. I think that works with this setup. So, I don't know. Let's see. I'm going to stick that. Hmm. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick a, a block here. Oh. Not that block. <laughs> Sev's not paying attention to what block he's got selected. There we go. What's new? All right. I'm going to put down that block. And that will work as my basis. And then from there, I'm going to take this solar panel off as much as it's I'm going to lose parts, but so be it. And then I guess what we'll do is put a couple of those down then we'll look at maybe if we get the drone out how well will something like that no nope, that one All right that one will place there but i need a line in the middle that's fine all we'll do is go doink, doink, uh, doink, 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 and doink, like that. And that can place the panel there. And then, do I place another one next to it, like here it says I know I'm stood in the way you see they but it lines up like fine but you end up having to put a block up here or some extra blocks which will do that's no problem we can give it the look there but my temptation is to actually have for example this side as the finishing side at the moment. Go on, back that way. And let me get the positioning right. There we go. So like that. And then maybe take this over another panel this way and another panel down. And that will give me plenty, I would think. 
So what I'm going to do here is these are going to be half blocks. I think. Half block, half block, half block. Half block. And then this one will do as... There is a half block for this, I believe. I, I hope there is. Or I've screwed up. Um, Where are you? It's like that, but it's not that. Now we'll use this one, he says. Let's do here. I mean, what I should be doing, and I didn't think to do this, is using the other trick here, symmetry plane. I should be doing this in freaking mirror mode. No, nope, not that one. Not that one either. That one. Because that way, if I'm doing it in symmetry mode, and actually do both sides at the same time, without having to make it look crap. And then we can put here, like that. Come on, this way, and yoink, yoink, yoink. Like that, and let's put it along here. Five, six, I think will be how far it's going to go because that's going to go along here as well to there. And one, two, three. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> Maybe I was wrong. But there we go. This is how this is going to lay out. And what I'll do here is then I will just put... I'll put another block like that down. Come on. Uh, where are we going? There. No, not that one. Oh, because you can't do it like that, can you? I've just realised. You have to do it a different way because it doesn't like it. Um, it's one of those things you have to do it a very specific way because otherwise the game doesn't sort of like how it lays out. And if we want to make it look nice, we'll do this. And yoink. And now it looks like it's all part of one thing. We'll put another one here. Nope, uh, that one instead. There we go. And then we can put the half block here. And we one, two, three, one, two, three. And then we'll decide what we're going to do with fixing that and doing that later because this will be a little solar panel outpost. You ink uh, there, and you need to be this one or this one, that one. There we go. And there, we'll put some more solar panels up there, and this will work very well to power the base for quite a long time. Um, we'll turn that symmetry off for the minute. Yeah, should power the base for quite a while so with that I'm going to go off resource shopping and maybe we'll complete this off and then we'll think about going to the trade station and I should be able to if I have more solar panels just push them onto here without putting the blocks underneath now the only thing I wish you didn't have was this little nub it's because of the way some of it works. If you if you do it at a different height, you don't end up with this nub. But I've done it this way, so we're doing it this way. So we're just stopping by the crash ship again, um, as we're going to. You know, that was that was the one with the dead guy in it. Let's not look in there again. Um, 
as I'm heading over to the graphite deposit, mainly because someone mentioned in the comments they believed I could access them. It does say F and I'm clicking F, I can't actually get in. So it had said you, they thought I could access the, the tanks, but yeah, I thought I couldn't until you find the core, which I believe this is now admin cord. Um, there probably is a core underground here somewhere if you know where to look but um yeah i don't think this is going to be coreable anymore and i believe we got everything we we could from here so yeah that was just to basically demonstrate that i did try and they're definitely not accessible there i wish they were because that would have been cheap fuel Anyway, off to the graphite. Okay, so we are back home with the graphite and the copper deposit removed. Um, I have a short job I need to do in here, which uh, is going to involve me digging up the floor once again. Uh, about here will be fine. And we're just going to shove these underneath because it's the safest place to put them I mean in all honesty actually now let's not do this let's not do this I don't like burying stuff generally I mean I've had to do it in space engineers to sort of keep myself safe but you know what yeah darn tootin I'm not gonna do it here um, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to put them in here. Yep. Uh, can that drone, can my drone get through that gap? Yep, it can. Sweet. Um, so, in which case, yep, uh, can we please swap that around? There we go. And hopefully, it's going to say, yeah, you can put it right there. Please? Yes? Thank you? No? Maybe? Um, okay. Because for some reason, when I actually do it, it's at a different angle. Don't ask me why. There you go. We'll put that one there, that one there. And that will be that. Then we need the couple of other solar panels I've built. I'm probably going to make another one, actually. So, yeah, I would have really liked. Yeah, if I'd done that one, it might have been nicer. I mean, though, it would still have left the gap. I think. Because that's the one I did, which kind of aligns, if you look at it. Pretty much aligns. Whereas if I did this one, it would not have aligned. Um, unless I did this one, which would also not have aligned, I don't think. No, that one is pretty much full block height. So that means you have to go for that panel, which is a bit steeper. So, no, we're going to keep with what we did in the first place, because I don't see any other way. We have to go for the mid-height one. Just a shame it has the little bit sticking out on it. In this case, I think I am going to go... Am I going to go over that way? One more. Hmm. Or do I bring it down already? Let's have a quick look. So, I ain't going to need to get rid of the tree. And possibly the player. Let's get me out of the way here. 
and then I'll have to get rid of the tree. Second, let's get rid of that. Let's learn from our mistakes last time, which was leaving it there and letting the core get rid of it because that didn't end well. So, surprisingly tough little tree. There we go, gives me a couple of logs. And yeah, so the thought is, do you then do this? I think I do. And then what I might well do is I might build another one of these somewhere else later. It depends on how much uh, power I actually find I need. Because at the moment, it's probably going to be okay. If I'm honest. Uh, let's turn the symmetry back on. Uh, okay, and let's try that again. Symmetry back on. Let's, let's do that with the drone in a second. Because that symmetry is in the wrong place. Right, symmetry plane and like there, please. Thank you. Perfect. And now we can quickly, hopefully, do this. And swap that around there and there and we need the other one which is there done super fast excellent just the way we like it now this one there we go done and now we just need that block come on there we go thank you game Yoink, and jobs are good. And there we go. And that will be power running up for today at least anyway. Now, we're not at 1% yet, but we should be... The power consumption is low. I mean, power left is 4 minutes at the moment, um, which is probably not great. So you ought to probably have a look at whether or not we can bolster up the fuel which we will be able to we'll have plenty of that i want to put down the clone chamber <sighs> so let's chuck down the clone chamber as well here in this corner yeah. do i want it there or do i want it there so sort of don't like the idea of walking out there Looks better over in this corner at that point. Uh, I'll put it over there in this corner. It'll be fine. I might move it later, but you know. For now. This one isn't working. So it shouldn't be consuming too much power. But as you see, we've only got two minutes left of power. Now, if we go to here, we can fix that by just chunking in a bunch of this. We've still got a load. That's 10% full, and that gives us at least another hour and 26 minutes. And what I'll probably do is take a bunch of that and chuck a bit more in. And then I can look at doing other things later. But I'm in a quandary with myself as to whether or not to go straight to the training station or whether to now get myself mobile on SV. Because I'm very much like an SV and we're kind of holed up here. We're, we're good now. We're ready for if we can start making some grow plots, which I don't suppose we can just yet. Um concrete ones I mean I prefer to make the steel ones just purely because I can use them in a capital vessel 
and I can't take the the ones out of the other one. I can make wood ones, which is like super lazy. Or concrete. Either is fine, but for that I need the the nitro the cellular solution or whatever it was. So for that, what we'd probably need to do is one take all of that plastic, which is delicious. Um and we'd probably want to make this atmospheric condenser. Which have we got enough iron ore? Oh what an asshole. No, no, don't make copper. Don't make copper. No! Make iron ore. Make two iron ore. Or go and pick two iron ore up. Yeah, I'm going to have to make the atmospheric condenser because that will actually make me some water. Or the. Well, I say that. I say that. But what I could do is freaking. Seb, put the gun away. You're a freaking liability. Right. What I could do is just make a water extractor and that would be fine right also I can put this because technically there's no O2 in here even though it says there's O2 in here but I want to put the ventilator so do I want that ventilator I wish there was like a little round one that you could stick in the, these sorts of gaps. I mean, it's going to have to be that now. I think that's for the best. But there we go. Each has independent now. So yes, we could grab one of those. And we can grab a bunch of this. And this can go down here, just in the water's edge here. Yoink! I don't like that position. Can you, can you go somewhere where you look a bit more sensible? There you go, fine. That'll, that'll make me feel better. And that can go and grab me water. And then I can deal with that from there. That's fantastic. So, that's grabbing me water. We're all set up here. What I'm highly considering now is building a small SV because I was thinking about it and I was thinking about do I go back for getting things like ooh is this disabled I afforded the location blah, 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 blah. okay fine um, I was thinking about do I get like the short hop in or something like that which would be completely doable I think I can get all the parts I think carbon substrate we've already got iron copper everything we've got we could get the short hop in in no time and we're level 10 so we're fine i mean obviously soul piercer is a no but you know or even the rlb could be brought in or the heavy hopper is even a possibility but I think, ultimately, I want to build something that's going to be suit that, that, well, who knows if it's going to be suitable or not, but I'm tempted to build something. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. <laughs> and start off with a core block, get a couple of bits on there, a couple of thrusters, and we'll sort of figure it out and build it up as we go along. And hopefully then it might be practical, useful, and you never know, it might actually look half decent. But no promises on that one. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to go for building an SV. But that's going to be next time. So, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe as always. And join us again next time when I think we're going to be... Still be doing a little bit more building. I know it's been a bit build heavy episodes. Past few couple of episodes. But uh, yeah, we'll be doing a bit more building and getting ourselves flight worthy and hopefully enough to go over to the trade station because I'm guessing that shortly after that we'll have to go to space. 
though this area I still intend to use as a bit of a base for a while yet. But thanks a lot.